annual kite flying festival starts at Hamamatsu, Japan, with citizens launching hundreds of gaily colored kites, some big enough to lift a man off his feet. Every Hamamatsunian tries to help, but sometimes there just aren't enough Hamamatsunians in Hamamatsu. No loyal citizen has to be told to go fly a kite. They've been doing it at the festival for 300 years. Soaring high in the stiff breeze, the kites strain against the pulleys and ropes controlling them. The climax comes when the kites dive and turn, a mock battle in the sky. In Sacramento, California, Vern Crary is doing kite flying too. If he keeps his grip, he hopes to go flying right along with the kite. Slides away on water skis behind a speedboat, and here's the takeoff. Soaring into the sky from the Sacramento River, Vern is flying as gracefully as an eagle, even if he doesn't look much like one. Everything seems to be going well, and Vern is clipping the clouds in great style, but whoops, a forced landing. The 26-year-old water skier decides to try it again, and with a flick of the wrist, he's in the air. The takeoff speed is about 50 miles an hour. Visibility is good, ceiling unlimited, and not another plane in the sky. About 80 feet up, Vern decides it's time to come down, and so he does for a perfect landing. One bounce, and the kite man is down for the day.